Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Larson. I've been missing you guys so much and I have been so excited to get back to the classroom. But until then, I thought of this really fun idea. I was thinking I could just read you stories and you can watch them on your computers or your phones. And then in, we will get back to the classroom and start reading stories in the classroom. So I was at the store um, before school was canceled and I bought this new book and I was saving it because I wanted to read it when it got closer to Easter time. And I just can't wait any longer. I want to share it with you. It's so much fun and it's so funny. It's called It's Not Easy Being a Bunny. And this is one of my favorite books and I think it's going to make you laugh a lot. So this book is called It's Not Fun Being a Bunny and it's written by Marilyn Sadler and it's illustrated by Roger Bolin. So remember our author writes the words, our author writes the words, hi ho the cherry, our author writes the words, and our illustrator, our illustrator colors the pictures, our illustrator colors the pictures, hi ho the cherry, our illustrator colors the pictures. And when we're looking at our book, this is the front, this is the back, and this is the spine. So I'm going to read this story, and if you like that I'm reading these stories on your computer, I know it's a little bit different, then you can just push the like button, or you can send me a message, and I'll start reading more stories and sending them to your um, Class Dojo app. So this book is called It's Not Easy Being a Bunny. It's Not Easy Being a Bunny. PJ Funny Bunny was very sad. He did not like being a bunny. His mother made him eat carrots every day. He had far too many brothers and sisters, and his ears were very big. Those are really big bunny ears. Do you think he could listen a lot? Probably could, huh? One day, PJ decided to leave home. I don't want to be a bunny anymore, said PJ. I want to be a bear. And PJ went to live with the bears. But when the bears went to sleep for winter, PJ could not sleep at all. Living with the bears was not exciting. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear. I want to be a bird. And PJ went to live with the birds. PJ liked being a bird until he tried to fly. Oh no. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird. I want to be a beaver. And PJ went to live with the beavers. The beavers liked to work very hard. PJ did not like to work very hard. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear, or a bird, or a beaver. I want to be a, what do you think he wants to be now? A pig! And PJ went to live with the pigs. Have you ever seen a dancing pig? But the only thing the pigs like to do was sit in the mud. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear, or a bird, or a beaver, or a pig. I want to be a moose. And PJ went to live with the moose. But PJ could not make good moose calls. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose. I want to be a possum. And PJ went to live with the possums. The possums liked to hang upside down, but hanging upside down gave PJ a headache. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear, or a bird, or a beaver, or a pig, or a moose, or a possum. I want to be a skunk. And PJ went to live with the skunks. Do you think he's going to like it? It did not take PJ very long to find out. He did not like living with the skunks. Why is his face like that? I think the skunks were stinky. So PJ said, 
I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or most of all a skunk. What I really want to be is a bunny. So PJ hurried home. The funny bunnies were very, very happy to see him. And PJ was very happy to be home. That night, PJ ate all of his cooked carrots and played with every one of his brothers and sisters. He was so happy to be a bunny again and that he did not he did not care that his ears were very big. At least everyone can see that I am a bunny, PJ said. And I am not a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or a skunk. The end. So sometimes we want to be more like our friends or we want to look different. But it's important to remember that we're perfect just the way we are. And we were made that way for a reason. And if we change ourselves, then we might actually be more unhappy to the way we change ourselves. So um, I want you to remember that you are perfect just the way you are. And I want you to look in the mail because Miss Larson is going to be sending you something very, very that has just your name on it. And if you have any questions, you can use your phone and call, um, or you can send me a message on Class Dojo, and I will keep sending you videos, and there's gonna be some packets available. So um, if you don't have a computer, or you don't have a way to get online to um, the Washoe School's website, we can um, arrange for you to get a packet so that you have something fun to do until we can get back in the classroom. I will talk to you later, boys and girls. Bye!